the mass one AH coming at you through your glowing screens. I hope each and every one of you are having a marvelous Monday. If you are a fan of Game of Thrones and if you are a fan of Avengers and you actually were lucky enough to get tickets, you must feel emotionally drained, much like I feel. Last night's episode was just of Game of Thrones was just nail biting on the edge of your seat. An hour and a half of excitement, nerves, just it, it was just wow. It was wow. But I'm I'm not here to speak about uh, Game of Thrones. I don't do reviews for TV shows yet. Uh, I'm here to speak about Avengers Endgame, and. No spoilers. Some of you may know that I have been reviewing the Marvel Cinematic Universe since uh, about a year ago. I went went back all the way to the beginning, rewatched all the movies, and have given a review. And you can find all of those on my YouTube at Anonymous. And um, admittedly, that first that first review is a little uh, it's really dry because I was trying to remember everything from a script. Uh, or read from a script and I just decided that's just not me. I don't like that. I, I like this organic feel and speaking to you directly that I like that feel. So I no longer write scripts in that regard uh, when coming to reviews. So let's talk about Endgame. And this is going to be non-spoilers, no spoilers. I don't do spoilers. I am going to make an exception in about a week because... There's something huge that I don't hear a lot of people talking about regarding Endgame. Let's talk about Avengers Endgame. It was epic. An astounding feat of filmmaking. Not only was it just a movie, it was the culmination of 21 movies preceding it. It was the balance to Infinity War. If you were loyal to this franchise from beginning and much like myself, like I went back and I, I've, I've been watching all of the films, um, you are going to really appreciate so much of what this film has to offer. And so much credit goes to the writers, uh, Stephen McFeely, Christopher Marcus, and the directors, Anthony and Joe Russo. These this team, the, the 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 writers and the directors should and along with Kevin Feige, they should really collaborate and try to um plan out, I guess, the rest of the MCU because this shit can go on forever and ever and ever. I truly believe that um as long as they keep the storytelling, the wit, the excitement uh, the, the, this this is a train that will not stop. Uh, Disney, uh, I applaud you for your 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 vision. Kevin Feige, I applaud you for your vision, and the writers and directors, I applaud you for your vision as well. Uh, you guys did a phenomenal job, and Robert Downey Jr., your acting. Oh, I can't even get into it because this is no spoilers. But there were there were. Two two scenes that were just three actually that were just heart wrenching, and you did a fantastic job. You always have, and Chris Hemsworth, man, is he funny? <laughs> he is hilarious, um, but he comes off so serious. He does it. He does his role justice, and just the whole cast. Uh, this was an epic, epic film. Now. You can there 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 are a lot of things that you can nitpick in this this film, and but there's a lot this film gets right, and it was I did not feel like I was sitting there for three hours and what one minute or two minutes. No, like if I wanted to check my phone, it was because like I didn't want the movie I didn't want the movie to end, and I wanted to know how much time we had left to just be in this experience. This movie is... And you can actually watch this movie uh, without 
having seen the previous 21 films. I was actually with somebody who hasn't seen the, the previous films and she enjoyed it. And But then I was also with people that have seen each and every film and we obviously enjoyed it a whole lot more. Uh, this is groundbreaking shit. And I really appreciate that I was able to be part of experiencing this. This is this must be what people when the original Star Wars came out or Indiana Jones. Like this is what this is what they must have felt. So this is the Star Wars for our generation. This was this was some epic shit, and I am I'm, I'm really grateful I got to, to to see it, and I'm planning on seeing it again. So. I, as I said in the beginning of this video, I do. There are there is one thing that I feel needs to be addressed. So I will definitely, I will definitely be making a video about this by next Sunday and uploading it next Sunday after I see the the film again. Uh, and it will be spoilers, but I feel like that's plenty of time for people to have have watched the movie and they will not mind that I'm speaking about this thing because this is this is universe this, it, it needs to be spoken about it really needs to be spoken about but anyway as always positive vibes to you and yours if you like the video please uh, like comment subscribe follow heart it just really all depends on how you're viewing this as always, positive vibes to you and yours. The Maslin, A.H. out.